Hi, and welcome back to my little film and TV channel. We're going over to the BBC today. Oh, dear. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, sometimes they get a bit of unfairness uh, on their uh, stuff, but uh, other times, uh, quite rightly. And this, sadly, today is probably one of those times where they deserve a little bit of stick for this, uh, where there's a lot of things you can completely turn your brain off and just go with the flow. And I tried with this because that's what you had to do to sort of understand fully what ordinary people are doing in in circumstances doing stupid things and that, that's what we get in this it's it's something it's a free parter three times 56 minutes uh the control room it's called there's a lot of hashtags on twitter on this one uh put hashtag the control room in you'll have a bit of more fun what looking reading those perhaps in the series offered a bbc drama thriller now on iplayer so if you do want to watch it as i said it's i've watched it now i can easily go back and say i'll never watch you know why why did i bother but hey you know, it had, it had its moments, just not very many of them. And it was, if you want to want a bit of fun with uh, finding plot holes and things that are just stupid, then uh, it's, it might be all right to watch. All right, Internet Movie Database, it's not scored that badly, actually. It's getting a 5.7 out of 10. That's probably a lot of the crew and cast uh, putting in scores and stuff like that. Uh, 5.7 out of 10, that's based on 229 scores. If you take out the 10 out of 10s, please, and the 1 out of 10s, uh, 99 people give it six to nine which is okay and 93 people so a pretty even split gave it between two and five out of ten so just 52 percent positivity what's it about well the control room follows gabe as his as his world is turned upside down when he received a desperate life and death call from a woman who appears to know him yes as gabe finds himself under pressure uh, to figure out who she is, what she is, he ends up making a, deci a decision, decisions, I think, it just says decision here, that threatens to have devastating consequences. It certainly does. Um, the, the, yeah, the, the actors are fairly familiar. We'll talk about one in particular because they're all a bit bit samey in this. Nothing, nothing fantastic. You, if you're in the UK, you watch a lot of dramas, you'll recognise some of the actors. Uh, so my little thoughts on this, because there's not much else, ro no Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, Dom Robinson, DVD fever, isn't impressed. So uh, that's par for the course, but in this case, he's possibly right. I do expect dramatic license, uh, my little summing up of events. And, uh, but for this, it's just laughable. I mean, there's so many things you think, why did that? What, what are the police doing? What are they doing? What, what are this, this emergency room that he works for? It seems a very laid back situation. I, you know, my, I had a... She, uh, I had an ex who, who worked for the police and the ambulance, and, <laughs> and that was a long time ago. I'm sure they're not deteriorated since, you know, and how they approach things, but uh, there you go. Uh, what this does, this series does also, is throw loads of things at you, like a, a comedy thriller would, which is quite funny and can be funny, but this is all serious stuff. It throws lots at you, hoping, hoping that something sticks in to, to get you interested. Uh, the concept starts off all right. Uh, I absolutely, totally don't disagree. I like the little concept of uh, of the start. Say, well, apart from the very first, the, the, the start itself, which is a little bit silly, but the concept is okay. But it all starts to fall apart from about after the first, uh, if it was ITV, the first break after about 15 minutes. The police are useless. The ambulance service appears to let the staff do do, do what they want when it suits them. Uh, Sharon Rooney, who plays obviously the DI in this, is it Breck? I think I think she's a DI. Uh, it's just awful. It's just miscasting. It's just she's not the right sort of person for it. And as I said, most of the actors and characters uh, are just probably for me, presumably happy just to pick up the paycheck at the end of this. There's little side plots as well that are just presumably to help fill in the three episodes because, yeah, they do, you know, they're just, just sort of linked loosely or with the rest of the story. They're just silly, just as silly as the, the story itself. And there's no one I really cared about in it. Poor Gabe, although, yeah, he starts off, he's trying to, he, they want him on your side, you, they want the viewer on his side. They want the viewer on Gabe's side, which is how it should be. He's the guy who's suffering through all this. But at the start, at the outset, this he sort of helps a pregnant woman on the phone. And basically all he does is tell the guy to tell his wife to push and she has the baby and all of a sudden the father's calling the baby after Gabe as though he's done something fantastic. I mean, it's just, you know, obviously supposed to have an empathy with Gabe, but actually it was just as pathetic as the rest of the series. Um, and I expected the little bed city lived in. Uh, 
I wasn't sure those existed anymore. I expected Rigsby and Miss Jones to, to turn up on the landing you know, where, where he lived. I suppose there are, uh, but it's not the sort of thing I expect to see. But we're talking up in Scotland. Perhaps there are still uh, scruffy little bedsits. I mean, I live a bedsit like that. I'd ask permission at least to, you know, redecorate, put a bit of paint on the wall. I mean, he's, he's you know, obviously he's not on, not on, he's not on benefits, is he? He's working for the ambulance service, so he does earn an income. So, yeah, uh, but he's, he's horrible. It's just horrible. Bedsit, as I say, I know these studios are called now, aren't they? I know they're not called bedsits anymore, but uh, it was a bit grotty. But as I said, I did expect uh, I thought it was an episode of Rising Damp for one moment. Uh, yeah, hopefully, for the ambulance service, this guy's still on probation and he can get rid because he's, he's a bit of a waste of time for me. I had nothing, nothing to like about him at all, nothing to like about any of the characters. There's a line in it with his dad where he complains to his dad that he's not 12. I'm not 12, dad. And then he throws his cap away and stamps his feet. So yeah, at least it made me smile, which it wasn't supposed to do, I suppose. So there you go. So if you do turn your brain off, I suppose it is passable, but you just get it. You just, just, just. Treat it with the contempt it deserves. It's just a waste of three episodes. Uh, a good idea by the BBC uh, in the first ten minutes, totally sort of ruined, really, by by the overall plot and the ending. Well, that was just as silly as the rest of it. Um, <laughs> a serious incident with guns involved, etc., etc. Won't go into any details to what it is, and then uh, life sort of carries on, and protagonists and people are, are on to allowed to roam around and go and see who they want. It's just a very weird ending. It's just, but in line with the rest of it. Uh, and it at least ends. That's the only thing I can say, and there definitely won't be. I don't think there'll be a series two of this inept uh, offering, that's for sure. So, anyway, no. I was going to give it a five out of ten, the minimum, because, as I say, if you like, if you want, what, like watching a guy running around doing stupid things for three episodes, it is what it is. But I'm not going to score it. It's just not worth the bother. So, I think the 5.7 out of 10 on the Internet Review Database is just a little bit too high for what we get. And that's come down a couple of points from yesterday. It was about 5.9, I think. I checked this morning, it's 5.7. So it could possibly keep on going down as more people watch it. But if you're not going to watch it, then it probably won't affect it too much because uh, you've been warned off. Anyway, let me know what you think, guys. I'm being a bit cruel. As I say, I usually stick up for the BBC. Don't get me wrong. I'm usually one of the guys who says they do some okay stuff, even though they do get a lot of stick. But uh, this this isn't this is a poor effort. So we meet again. Please stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. <laughs>